today we're going to teach you how to perform the pendulum row properly. A lot of people get these confused with barbell rows. A really easy way to make the difference, uh, to make it make sense, is you have your legs as straight as possible, and the goal of this position is to bring that chest down to therefore improve the potential range of motion. If you see people doing the barbell row straight up, it'll look like this. Our range of motion is two inches. The lower I can actually get that chest, the more I can extend that arm for a strict row. The benefit here is uh, you're going to get a ton of activation, you're going to build a lot of muscle, but you do danger that back a little bit. So here are three common mistakes to avoid uh, before we quickly go over a one over on how to perform it. The common mistake number one, we always see this when with any rowing exercise, a lot of deadlifts. Anytime someone's in the gym, a lot of times their shoulders roll forward, they're not maintaining any tension at all, and they're just rowing like this. And you're gonna blow your black out, your back out. So that's one ticket to Snap City. So make sure you keep that chest up, your core tight, your squeeze, uh, your glutes squeezed, and maintain a neutral spine throughout the entire movement for ultimate safety. Number two is turning into a normal barbell row. So the goal here is to straight legs. A lot of people will start straight like this. Stick pendule, bro, bro. That's not what we're going for. That's why we reset the bar every time down to the ground. Uh, just to give it a full reset. Arms are straight, let it come all the way down, maintain tension, pull up with those elbows, and try to minimize how much those legs bend. Uh, you don't have to do a stiff leg deadlift, a little bend's okay, but the more minimal the bend, the better. And number three common mistake we see is uh, actually not utilizing control within this exercise. Although this is a power movement, you still wanna have control within every single exercise you're doing in the gym. So you wanna make sure when you're bent over, you're fully squeezing at the top, getting ultimate control, ultimate tension, controlling two seconds on the way down, letting it reset, maintaining that neutral spine and I'm gonna add an additional 3.5 here is because when you bring it down to the bottom and you're resting here people just pull from here okay we've already said this but you always want to go boom okay boom and maintain that neutral spine because a lot of people will get hurt doing this exercise especially with a couple hundred pounds on the barbell for this one okay A to Z recap a lot of people say why they mistakes first I find when you know what not to do it helps you identify what to do so approaching the bar, uh, you're gonna have your hands a little closer. It can be under or over. Um, that's really up to you. Uh, to me, I prefer to do it with the overhand grip. I think that is more traditional, so it's what I like to stick to. Um, overhand, you're gonna get a bit more upper back. Underhand, you're gonna get more lower um, lat and a little bit more bicep. You make that choice. Next, we're gonna try to keep the legs straight. Now, what we don't wanna do is have them too straight where I can't pick it up and I round my back to pick it up. It's up to you whether you wanna deadlift it up or not. I don't recommend it because we're already starting from this position. So I'm gonna bend down with control. I'm not gonna do like this. I'm gonna do a pile that has tension. Now, from this tension point, I'm gonna pull off, squeeze, elbows are tucked, squeezing the back, getting the bar up as far as I can, controlling it all the way down. Here's how it's gonna look. Tight, up, tuck, control. Heads right down. There's a little bit of bend. I'm not bent straight, I'm not bent over, I'm not upright. This is the exact position. Tight, up, slow, down, full reset, okay? That's it, easy as one, two, three. First thing in the description down below, we don't waste any time. We have a free form guide with like almost 40 exercises that will teach you how to do it. Personal training in your pocket. Take advantage, thanks so much for chilling. Subscribe if you love our style. We'll see you in the next one, peace out.